Hello, I'm making a quick video here to how to mod your Esheen H8 Mini. Um, how to get a range of 100 meters. The final product will look like this with the antenna sticking through the roof of the quadcopter and the antenna poking out the top of the controller. It's pretty easy to do. There's a few things that you'll need one, a screwdriver, preferably with a top that can twist so you don't have to. I keep turning, you can just put it rest on your hand and spin, so that helps. You'll need either a lighter to heat up the end of the um, screwdriver to poke through a hole in the top of the canopy, or I'm going to use a soldering iron. So, first thing, we'll start with the quad. You need to take off all the props. So, you can either use a prop remover tool, pull it off, and I'm going to use some tweezers. So, what you want to do is take them off. So about hitting the camera. And put these aside so you remember what orientation they go in. I'm just putting them just up here, out of camera. Once you have taken off all the propellers, what you'll need to do is flip over the quad and let me zoom in. As you can see, there is one screw here, another screw just here, and a screw here. You'll need to take off the three screws on each arm and then I'll get right back. But first, let me show you my other quad. Here's the same quad I got from the same seller, but it only has a screw here and a screw here. It looks like there's going to be one here, but there's not. And if you look here, it looks like there's going to be one just where that hole is, right here. But there's not, it's like there. So I don't know why these have got four extra screws, and this one doesn't. Not too sure, but it doesn't really matter. You still need to take off all the screws, so... I'll do the first couple of arms, the first arm, and then I'll speed for it. You might want to lay them out so you remember which slot they go in. It's fairly simple. Just unscrew them and then get something to take them out. It's a fairly simple mod but it's very effective. I highly recommend it if you want to fly further distance than it's advertised. So yeah, I tested it on my quad that I've got that I've already done the mod on and I got a, about a hundred meters, maybe a bit more. Um I can't use this at the moment because the back right motor is broken so I put a Chirson CX-10 motor in and buffed it like higher so it wouldn't like touch and scrape on the plastic at the top so it could be at the same level as all the others but it didn't work so I've ordered another one I'm going to do a video on how to solder and take apart this and install a new motor so stay tuned for that let's get right back to this so I'm going to fast forward it here so I'll be right back when all done
Now that you've got all the screws out, what you want to do is turn the quad over and then you want to pinch just a tiny bit and then lift up the corner. Do that for each of them. Because if you don't do this, the, the motor will come out, so you need to pinch it a bit so you can hold the motor in place and just pull this off the motor. And then you should see the top should come off like this. What you need to do, you can see under here the antenna is just bent down to the side. What you want to do is you want to find the middle point in here. So my middle point is just between, say, the E sheen, no, the H8 and the Mini. So let me zoom in. I want to put the hole just here in the middle. So I'm going to mark a little X with a pen. You don't have to do this, but I am. And then get whatever you want to use to put a hole, and then you just want to put a hole with whatever you're using. So now that I put a hole, you want to wait for it to cool. Um, I use that so I could get a nice round circle. Um, then you just want to carefully bend this up to not damage any of the the wire where it's soldered so it's still soldered quite well you want to see if this fits through the hole which mine does and it's like a perfect fit so you can see it fits through the hole just zoom out a bit and you want to start the reassembly so you just want to put the cord back together again so you just want to push all the corners over the motor so you hold a bit just like so now you can see you've got the antenna sticking out of the cord and then what you want to do is you want to put all the, the screws back in and I'll be right back it's going to be a bit harder to do this because the antenna is poking out so you might have to hold it and put the screws in but uh, fast forward it and then I'll see you when I'm done Once you've got all the screws back in and you've got your antenna poking through the roof of the canopy as you can see all my screws have been put back in you can now reassemble the props Make sure the props are all on right and they're pushed down enough. Once your props are all on, you might just want to check to see if it works. So, get a battery and then put it in just to see if your antenna still works.
seems to be working. Then you can turn it off and unplug it. And then you can put your cord to the side. Then you want to get your controller. With this, you need to turn it over. Take out the screw for to keep the back of the battery bay on. And you want to unscrew these two screws here. Place them to one side. Place them to one side. Then what you want to do is you want to carefully separate the two halves of the controller, and there'll be two wires that you need to keep soldered on because they're what powers the battery. So what you need to do is just find the wire of the antenna which is right in there so you might want to get a pair of tweezers to try and hook it out mine's just here so you just want to get it out carefully and then I want my antenna to come out here because if you put this in the controller I want it to come out just here because you can see that's where it's soldered and I want it to come out just there so what you want to do is carefully put a hole in the middle of this I'm using a um, a soldering iron just to burn it but you can use whatever you want just to make it a bit easier. Once you've got your hole, you want to bend the antenna just in the middle of where you want it to come out. Gently separate it again. Place back in the little black piece of where the antenna comes out. And then carefully reassemble the controller just as so. And as you can see, the antenna is now coming out of the controller, and then you want to screw the screws back in. And then you have completed your mod of Esheen H8 Mini to improve range. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll be doing a video on how to replace a motor in this scene. Thanks, bye.